को नहीं सोबार ही तो है मेरे प्यारे वतन से जापिदा Wazim, a late swinging Yorker, and just the start that the young left-hander needed. Perfect delivery by Wazim Akram. The Yorker, in swinging Yorker, didn't move a great deal. He'll seem pretty intent upon picking up those quick runs. Oh, and he's knocked the stumps out of the ground again. The young left-hander's delighted, and so is his captain, Charvard. And uh, I thought he bowled pretty well without much luck the other night against uh, against the Indians. Well, he's having a bit of good fortune today. And beating Kepler Vessels with pace was through him before the bat even. But he's got him. Jones has knocked it on. A wide delivery. This time he's hit the stumps the third time, but not a direct hit. Well, it looks as though there must be a magnet in that ball that's attracted to the stumps. Wazim Akram picking up his third wicket. Dean Jones, as we've seen a few times during this series. Yes. The border looking over his shoulder there. He's given out. He's out. He's tramped on his wickets, actually. As he went to play that ball on the leg side, he glanced over his shoulder and seen that he had knocked the leg bail off. He completed the run until such time as uh, he realised that the square leg umpire there had got his finger up. And this is a disaster for Australia as Border going onto the back foot gets that ball away on the onside but notice he's airborne as he plays the ball and the impact of the ball pushes him back. And in going back whilst he was in mid-air he came down on the base of the stumps. And uh, he dislodged the bail. Look at him go right over the back slip and he's pushed that leg stump over. And that's in the air, and it's the fifth wicket to fall, as huge. Man coming in, deep on leg. Catch. What catch. Absolutely magnificent. This fellow who took five wickets against Australia the other evening, Wazi Makram, has now taken the catch that might win this game for Pakistan. Hey, Greg, move into the commentary position. Thank you, Ian, and this ball him. He's trying to whip it away down to square leg. 
and in so doing has played right across the line wicket of this innings Good to knock the ball over. You only need to take one bail off. Wasi Matram has removed Gordon Greenwich, man who was looking so dangerous. Desmond Haynes is in with pace. Getting the inside edge of the bat onto the in start. hand, the West Indies. Got him. Beautiful piece of bowling and a great figure by Pakistan. Defending only 199 runs. They've outbowled and outfilled the win. The end of Matthews. Drawing away, wasn't that good through with the full pitch. And Greg Matthews coming in at an awkward time, fails to the medium pacer. It's Matthews on a hiding to nothing, coming in with just uh, a few overs to go, trying to innovate. Trying to... Down the ground, a catch here, taken, both and gone. That's the wicket Pakistan wanted. Losing their top all under. And it was partly frustration. They bowled so well at him that uh, he was forced into playing. And well taken there by Salim Yusuf. That was good delivery from Wazi Makram. Did well to make that one run away from the right-hander coming around the wicket. Fingers across that one. It was off the deck, but it went. Pitching and going away from the right-hander, a great piece of bowling. In the air, fielder down there to take the catch. That's it. And Dujon, not for the first time this season, has fallen into position. Not a good delivery. About chest height, maybe a little bit higher. And Akram has come in, down on one. Well. Got him, good bowling. No, yes, he's gone. Caught behind, I thought the man's going to call no ball, but well caught, a good delivery, and a good bowling change. There are all sorts of catastrophes there, but uh, the main thing was that Sully Mutif... Well caught. McDermott has clipped that off his toes to deep square leg. And it's been brilliant. It's well timed. This time the fielder looking confident. Ran in and grabbed it as clean as a whistle and kept going. And a fine over from wasn't Acura McDermott out for a duck. Eight for 152. And he's hit that very hard, but he's going to be out. Ejar's taken the catch once more. Hughes can consider himself that young lucky because he really did hit that one well and picked up the fielder. Extremely good hit from Merv Hughes. It was a slower delivery from Wazi Makram. Merv got hold of it very well, but that's a good catch. Each has who didn't have a good... They don't get it. That's the match. Pakistan have won. For a short game. Marshall ka. Helmet pe lagi ball. Aur Vasi Akram. Dusre run ke liye wapas bade. Aur unhe jaldi karni padegi. Aur Vasi Akram apni crease mein pahunch gaye. एक मौके पर यूं महसूस होता था जैसे वेस्ट इंडीज की टीम पाकिस्तान की टीम को आउट करने में कामयाब हो जाएगी और बासानी मैच जीत लेगी मगर पाकिस्तान ने बड़ी उम्दा ये तो जहर की और दिल आखिर पाकिस्तान की लीड बढ़ती हुई 209 रन की हो गई है और बड़ा जोरदार इस रोज वसीम 
आजरम का भट्टे से जो पाला छक्का इस मैच का पहला छक्का और तवशाही फाइन शॉट बाय आजरम फोर रन्स एंड इट वाज सच अ टमेंडस शॉट दैट ह्यूज एंड हार्डली टेकन his second step when the ball flashed past him and he just couldn't get down four to akram 213 for seven six no question about it what a shot and rakaman absolutely awestruck and denied oh that's up in the air Hughes getting under it, and it's a six, is it? Yes, it is. Another six. Yes, into the stands. Hike the ball away over mid wicket. Missed. Gone. We saw last time that was a six. Is it going to be a hat trick? Come on. And today the much vaunted discipline and professionalism of Australia came under test. I think let's watch the replay again from the other side. What a happy Akram is on a hat trick. And I think after the 44th over of the Pakistan innings the Australians began to win. To run out Akram on a hat trick. Oldman wearing the green Australian hel- uh, the yellow Australian helmet. Akram on a hat trick. He's got it. Bingo! It's a hat trick. Mercy Macram is the bowler, and Gooch is taking strike. Ball in, a good one, and much needed by Pakistan after 123 had been put on for the first wicket by the England pair Gooch and Stewart. Macram here decided to run in a little bit quicker. Running down the hill, just got that inside edge, as Richie Benno said. Cannoned in onto the stumps, to the surprise of the Pakistanis, and I might say, to the surprise of Graham Gooch, who's looked in immaculate form. What a catch! What a catch! And Robin Smith goes to the left arm seamer, Wasi Macram. Here's Wasim Akram slanting the ball across Robin Smith. It flies away, and Rashid Latif diving to his left picks up a superb catch. It's going really quickly. And that is Wasim Akram's 150th Test match wicket. Obi W. Salisbury has gone. Wasim Akram has got him with the Yorker. A ball of great pace, beat him for speed. Saul Pierce out over W to Wasim Akram for 12, 73 for two yesterday evening, and has stuck around this morning for half an hour. Wind. Beautiful ball once again, Yorker. Ball is swinging, moving off the seam. It is brilliant stuff. Wonderful cricket. Very exciting indeed, especially if you're a Pakistani fan. And Sunny. What? What about that? In Zamar. When you're on a hot streak, it never seems to stop. What a beautiful catch. 
brilliant that was. And two hours ago, Wasim Akram was everywhere. He was being nicked for four, he was being hit for four. And Stuart has carried his bat. I won't mind those, short of a length. Just been able to whip them round the corner. Oh, what a good hit. That's made a world of difference. Fulsbury. Oh, he's picked his spot. <laughs> it's a wonderful hit. Just a little short arm sweep. <laughs> Done for the hook. He certainly got the one. So half the scores in the back it's gone for the hits it's through they've won and well played pakistan it's well struck pressure centers the picket they hit down the ground beautifully timed that's just and he's picked out uh, the man who was just brought up Michael Holding brought up into the circle and he smashes it back where Michael came from. One bounce into the Benson and Hedges sign. So up all the innings from Courtney Walsh or last legal delivery, should I say. to Wasimakrom. Yeah, we'll have to see now whether that ball is still in the ground. I think it's gone out of the ground. Yeah. It's stuck over the ropes and uh, over the uh, hand. But they found it. Given to extra cover. Oh. What in? The Yorker. Beautiful delivery. And crowded up. Pakistan has broken through. It's 19 for 1. Happiness. <laughs> Superb bowling by Wasim Akram. He saw Richards moving away and bowled it well up to him, knocked the leg stump out. Brings the capacity guard to their feet and another fine effort by this youngster. And that's a third bowling by Vasim Akram. You'll see the replay. You'll see that Harper was moving away down the leg side and wide and he bowled it up to him and slightly away and clean bowled him. What a superb piece of bowling. Towards the end of their innings, the Indians. Oh, what a good delivery. <laughs> They're going to take a run. He'll have a go. Yes, he will. And he's hit the stumps. What a magnificent bit of fielding there by Wazim Akram. First of all, the magnificent delivery. Moray had to get up off the ground and run down the other end. He did his best, but Akram hit the stumps. India 7 for 213. Because he knew he was in trouble, I'm sure. Hold him. Well, he's getting a little frustrated there. And was him at cramp, consistently aiming at that leg stump, certainly angling the ball in. And that one hit the base of the stumps. Also, Macram is about the best bowler to tail-enders in world cricket. And whilst he hasn't been bowling particularly well so far in this series, 
He hasn't lost the ability to bowl the in-swinging Yorker to the tail ender. And there it is into the bowler to tail enders in world cricket.